umefanya vizuri. You know, si watu wengi wanakuwa hivyo. Because I know you hata wao naitwa wao kaika hapa. Bwana unaongea unaonekana kama wewe muoga. Lazima hivi hivi fanyike, lazima kuja hapa na kina dada wamefika ukingoni, si ndio? Imefika mahali sasa mnaikia makofi. Everywhere, come out on your cards. Let me show the court because for the first time, he miyaka. He party iko tabu. Kabisa party ni mepata. Ne from private security regulator body. Hapo ndio iko tabu because how ndio anataka kutusaidia kuangalia kwamba the regulations that have been put in place are all implemented ndio kwa sababu hiyo body katengenezwa na hiyo body tulipigania hiyo authority hata lobbying katika parliament and that you know that to make sure kwamba nyinyi employers when wote wako organized na wako pamoja na wanalipa mishahara in accordance with the law. Ndiyo kwa sababu tulipigania yu regulatory board. Na wabunga wali tusaidia tukaipata. Tulipoipata ikakuja wakati wa kwa point the chairman. The chairperson. Sasa wakati tulipokuwa tunafikiria chama na atatoka hapa atakuwa chama ni aina gani tayari yule mtu alikuwa anataka they had already reached to my brother wandabwa so nikiwa kwangu niliona huyo mtu anaitwa chairman akikuja nikamuuliza wewe hii kazi utaweza kwenda akasema ataweza ama ni kwenda kutafuta allowances a chairmanship katika hii kazi because uwezi kuchukua kazi kama hii ya kuangalia nyinyi kwa mtu yule ambaye ana experience kule NSSF nimekaa kama trustee mara nyingi na kwa bank tunachukua wale watu ambao wana bias ama wale watu wanaelewa mambo ya finance uwezi tu kupika enabled to chair the meeting you can't just speak on enabled else fanya makosa kati mwingine wakapik mtu ile alikuwa mkubwa wa jeshi sasa kabla mkutano ujaanza na mpigia tu story ya jeshi nini unaona <laughs> mara <laughs> mkutano ikakuisha kamaliza tamu yake without employing even one person because he could not understand which are areas that are winding since that was not something of his line and that is what happened with this regulator board they appointed somebody who doesn't understand issues related to security in fact chairman ametoka katika maybe kwa watu wanaoindafia na security <laughs> sasa atakuwaje <laughs> chairman wa kuangalia mambo ya kuregulate the ceo he is the one whom they appointed ambaye mtu haelewi mambo ya security lakini kitu nataka kuhakikishia ya kwamba government hii inaangalia all authorities na sote zitakuwa headed na watu wapya sote hii yeye is just matter of time i can assure you wata mtapata chama mpya mtapata CEO mpya there will be a lot there are a lot of changes which are going on currently ambao watu watafit in the current system so kama wewe ukikaa tu kwa ajili wewe unakaa utajipata ukiwa nje ya hii new system uh, wale watu wanaweza maybe ku survive kwa hii ni sisi watu ambao nyinyi mnachagua because our fate is in your hands it's not in the hands of government or employers so so long as bado mnataka sisi we will be there you know mambo ya minimum wage 
wale watu wengi tunapatia minimum wage ndio wale watu wanasema sisi atufanye kitu chochote wale watu ambao because our members wako na CBA eh yeah? sisi tuna hata saa hii before came here was signing CBA ya watu waketepa tunashaongeza mshahara we are handling KTD now the rest zingine zote tume wanakuja hapa kwa ofisi kusign Union yetu iko so strong employer comes to us. We don't go to employers offices. Wanakuja wenyewe tunasign. Because of uh, structures we did put in place na organization which is assertive and which makes us appear not only appear but be be felt we are being felt as a strong labor movement. So sisi tuna CBS and this is why we said last matue na hii regulatory board kwa security ili yangalie passengers select companies ambazo ni briefcase eh, security companies as well as lipa watu as well fanya nini zitolewe nje sibaki zile companies that can be able to employ and pay workers well so what happened ceo akaonwa na zile companies dogo dogo eh wakamwambia ukitoa sisi hii ndio biashara tunafanya sisi tutakwisha tutafanya nini wanatengeneza kitu wanapelekea yeye sasa anasahau what the regulation says and that is why that board was formed it reduce itoe wale hawkers those with small unnecessary security firms which have no insurance for their security employees. Unaona? Sasa he failed to do that. And that is why we are supporting the government to make sure how huyo mtu anatolewa. Sisi this year tulisema kama sio general wage increase tusipatiwe pesa. Because wale watu tunapatia minimum wage ni watu wanaenda kwa social media wanasema and every year even the last year we were at 18% every year tunaongeza tuna improve na inasaidia wale watu wako na minimum wage they are the same people wanaenda kwa media na kutoa kwa employer even 1% it's not an easy thing 1% only kumwambia yes you are proposing to give me 5 or 6% make it 7 hiyo 1 cba inaweza kuwa delayed for about 6 months or so when you are still battling and you have every reason have economic reasons to prove uh, you have collected data based on cost of living consumer price indices and how erosion of purchasing power has affected your members employer will still be an adamant person uh, to respond positively and increase salary so it is not easy na sisi tunapeana 14% 18% siku hizo zote during moist time kibaki time wanaenda kupeleka picha zangu zote na hao watu they forget when i was talking to these people what were the achievements eh kabla tujaingia hapa hakuna mtu alikuwa anapata mshahara minimum wage more than 3000 shillings sasa uliza Nairobi minimum wage is how much 